Hola, you guys. Oh, I'm coming at you at the end of the day, so I can't say good morning, can't say good evening, because it's not that late. Maybe it is, actually. But um, I've had a really good day. I'm feeling like I love days like these where it's, oh, it's 5.20, so it's not even like that late, but I'm already, I've dressed down into like cozy clothes. Look, this doesn't really qualify as cozy. Like I would wear this out. It's not just like something I'd wear in the house, but it just feels more comfortable to wear this and tights, even got socks. <laughs> I'm just waiting for something that's gonna be delivered now. Actually, I think I can hear them coming up the stairs. Mm. Is that them? Remember, I told you guys about the Tier Studio bed, which thank you Tier Studio because they sent that over to me, but the stain wasn't what I wanted. I wanted something darker. Um, although they did do it and they even sent me a picture and they were like, is this the one you want? And I was like, mm -hmm, that's the one. And then it came and I was like, I think it's too dark for this room but i'm gonna live with it i'm gonna live with it and just see if i can make it work by finding accents that can bring that color of the wood together but um the bed is here there was an issue with the frame as well because the sizing wasn't right so that needed to be changed um and i got a call 20 minutes ago that they were on their way but i think also but i also just got told a couple minutes ago that they've just seen them outside so should be here any second and finally I will have a bed and a mattress and a pillows and duvet and just like everything that room pretty much needs in order for it to perfectly function and it's just got me excited because now I want to go get other things for that room I want to get plants for instance well I want to get plants for my house because I, I had two living plants before and it looks like one is dead so I've only got and one left which isn't great and I've just been sitting with like empty pots for well over a year I want to say and I feel like I'm in a better mind set hello no I feel like I'm in a better headspace and like I, I would be better prepared to take care of plants I think before I was just like meh I'll figure it out which obviously that doesn't doesn't work like that I keep turning because I think I'm hearing someone I don't know. Oh, Patty's calling. Hey, love. Hola. It's in! Woohoo! Look who has a bed and a mattress. Dun, 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 dun. I do! guys I'm so excited it's perfect and in fact can I tell you something I'm going to order oh I wonder if this mattress is so freaking heavy but I'm going to see that board at the bottom my other bed doesn't have that and so it's been slowly destroying my mattress and so I think I'm gonna have Tira just make that kind of bed support to go to my other bed because it's just, I'm, it's paining my heart to see my other mattress get destroyed. I also know that I talked to you about, you know, the wood and wondering if it's too light for this room because there's a lot of light um, references, like light wood references. So there's that one, which I don't know if it'll live here anyway. So maybe it's not, you know, insane that I went for something a little bit darker stained. And then there's the, you can't see it now because there's a load of bedding on it, but there's the chair that just lives here for now this um wishbone type chair and you can see it's so light i mean every, it's like a lot of the references here are that tan color and i was just afraid that there would be such a stark difference but i'll make it work i'll figure it out done making the bed it is clearly not done because I need a duvet cover I really want to preserve this I actually I have to say I think I showed you guys in the last video that I received this as PR but I'm definitely gonna buy it for my bed a hundred percent because washing a duvet doesn't happen that often and I just feel like I didn't take good care of the one that I bought a couple years ago so I might as well 
treat myself to a new one that I could then um, really take care of. I got a five by six for this room and for this bed, even though the bed is actually four by, no, 4.5 by six. Um, and so I'll just get the exact same one for my bedroom. I already tried this on there and it fit perfectly. Um, I think you guys have seen everything. I swapped over the cushions from Artis. These white ones were in my room, but I just felt like the black ones were such a stark difference. I don't think it works in this room. So I swapped it out. I'm also really happy because you barely see the uh, dark wood, which is okay. And even if it sneaks, like you see a little bit of it at the corner, I think there are enough moments in here, or I will try and draw some moments that will add some like darkness and moodiness to this room. I also need to get lots of art as well, so I'm sure I'll just like tie everything together there. I don't know if you guys remember this, but this was a PR product that was sent uh, six months ago maybe? I will link them down below. I can't remember the name of the brand or the shop now, but this is so cool. So you just need to connect it to, it's just, it comes with a cable that you then, a USB port kind of cable that you then need to connect it um, and plug it into the wall. But I just think it's a nice, fun addition to this corner of the room. And then at night, it just adds like a nice soft glow. I'm really happy. Good morning, everyone. It is the next morning. I started off at the gym and was literally just about to rush into the bathroom, take a shower, and just get ready for the day. And then I started responding to comments on a picture that I put up on Instagram yesterday where I just asked people to tell me what made them smile. And I was just sat in this room, in the guest room, responding to comments with the biggest smile on my face. And it just put me in the best mood ever. Best mood ever. Um, and I was about to now jump into the shower, shower, but then I thought, let me show you what the room looks like during the day in the morning light. I don't know if you're over this room, but I'm not. So, so here we are. I'm just, I'm so happy. Ooh, geez, that is a lot of light. I'm so happy with it. And the light streams in so beautifully. So I was just sat there and don't have that much greenery, but I've got something. And I was just like looking out, enjoying this room. Because of the wood and you know, how sometimes wood can smell, and especially if it's like freshly stained, it can have a smell to it. Um, I brought this candle in here. I haven't lit it, but it's one of my absolute favorites, Merry Cookie. I got it from Treasured Scents, which is where I get my candles from these days. It smells so delicious. And in the theme of putting things in here that smell like <laughs> scrumptious cookies, I... <laughs> I also have this, which is blueberry sugar. They're both from Bath and Body Works. This also smells absolutely amazing. And I just have them open, and so the scent can just kind of waft through the room and make it so yum. Yeah, so this was me, literally. Just like, <laughs> and then looking out, and looking at the room, and then look at, looking at the mess, at the comments, and just being like, <laughs> this is so sweet. Uh, it's so sweet. I don't know if I've already said it, but I, uh, the comment, the Instagram post I'm talking about, I asked people to just let me know what made them smile yesterday. And there's like a couple hundred comments of people just talking about the simplest things or the sweetest things. Or like someone was like, I didn't pay for fare twice because, you know, going to work and coming back because both conductors just forgot. <laughs> um, and someone else was like, a kid, a two-year-old was trying to wink at me and they couldn't do it and it was hilarious and that made them smile. Um, what else stood out? Oh, someone's like, I started my second business today. Someone's like, I graduated and after four years of school and uni, I'm finally done. I don't know, it's just, it's good vibes. It's good vibes and I just, it's made me realize like this is why you should start your day with gratitude, like what made you smile? And I know we should, I know they say that, I know we've heard that a million and one times, but I don't know, this was just interesting because it's not just what made me smile, I was going through what made other people smile and just responding to comments. But if I do this, then I'll, if I continue, I'll be here the whole day. Even my mom responded and she was like, Nyla made me smile in the chat we had today. <laughs> oh, bless. Anyway, I will continue responding throughout the day. But right now, let me break down what my day looks like. So I've got a nail appointment. I've got emails to respond to, posts to put up, and calls to make. 
like work calls and um, yeah, ad some admin stuff, sending contracts and stuff, stuff like that. But um, aside from that, my morning is not that busy. In the afternoon though, I've got an exciting date. I'm going to see Mutoma Becca, who is an amazing photographer. Um, he doesn't even, I feel like photographer doesn't quite sum up what he does because it's he's he's an artist artiste um and he's just really cool peeps him and his family take the loveliest photos um and recently he took a beautiful photo of his mom and he revealed that the mom had um, been diagnosed with cancer and was just going through chemo and i realized i actually hadn't seen him in a couple of years it's been a couple of years since we had like a coffee date so yeah, that's what we're doing. And we're going to, oof, I forgot, I want to say Hob House, but I know it's not Hob House because it's on the other side of town. It's in Karen. I can't remember. Boho. Boho. I'm going to go get dressed. I have the biggest smile on the face and I don't even know why. I just, it's the comments, you guys. If, if you're on Instagram, I don't, it doesn't matter when you watch this, but if you're on Instagram, please just check out that post. I'll link it actually, just so that you can know which one I'm talking about and just go through the comments and see if it will make you smile at all. You can even respond to the people, even though they're strangers, just, you know, drop a comment. I don't know. It might just change your mood. And I genuinely think that's what's changed my mood. Actually, before I jump into the shower, I have to say, I am really bummed that Link, that they've not opened they're um, they're not back in business just yet they, they've had this sign on their website kind of saying that we're taking time to just restructure things so that we have everything perfect for you um and i they're the ones who i used to paint the walls to hang up some artwork what else have they done they fixed um my shower at some point i've just had different handiwork done around the house and I just really enjoy Link and the efficiency of it. The people who've come here to either, I don't know, fix a light or put up artwork or whatever it is, have been so professional. They've been on time. It's just clear, simple. There's no like dodgy, oh God, is he ripping me off? Did he really need to buy that or not? It just feels like legit. And I want to do some more paint work. But I actually even went as far as to DM them to be like, guys. <laughs> I've been on your website three times now. When are you opening? Okay, like it's fine. We'll take whatever you had before. You don't have to make it perfect. Just give me something. I'm not gonna get out of my sweaty gym clothes and I will go take a shower. All right, I'm looking a lot more put together than I did a couple of seconds ago for you guys. For me, it's been maybe three, three hours. Uh, my nails are done. I just went and did the same. Oh, if I could just focus. I just did the same c nail color that I had on before and I did the same for my feet, which are not the prettiest. So not going to focus on that. Um, but, oh, sorry about that. Slight emergency. I couldn't find my car keys. And when I tell you where I found them, <laughs> honestly, kids, I don't, un I don't understand. I don't understand. Anyway. Uh, a few hours later, did my nails, yay. Really happy with the state of my nails and the fact that they're getting better. And I never finished telling you the story a couple of videos ago about my nails and how I was a little panicked about the state of their health. Because I did this nail thing at, um, at a salon and it just completely destroyed them. And right now I'm actually just trying to get them back to health. <sighs> um, so I'm just doing very simple gel nail polish and take, being very gentle with the application and taking off and everything. Um, right, so let me take you through my outfit very quickly. Feeling really cute today. I've got my Bloom Kenya skirt. It's actually a set, so it comes with a top that I actually really like too. And then I've got, uh, I went for like a tonal monochromatic theme. And so I went for uh, an orange top, which I can't remember where I found it, but it must have been when I was traveling. I think it may have been H&M on sale. Where was it? Dubai, maybe? The back looks like that. Ooh, the back of my hair doesn't look cute, though. <laughs> I'm having one of those days. Um, the back looks like that, so I'm just wearing a bandeau top. These Shrubzetu bandeau tops are lifesavers, I have to tell you. Um, and actually, if they're still on sale, I might just buy others, because I know I'll wear them to death. Uh, right. So I ha oh for jewelry I've got this is like an old necklace that my parents gave me when I turned 
how old did I turn? Maybe 21, I can't remember. And then earrings are from Mr. Price. Let me come in close and you can see them. Came home. I don't know why I'm showing you my outfit, but you'll get it in a moment, even though I showed you my outfit before. But what do I want to update you on? Had a really great lunch. Fantastic. Loved catching up with Matua. Want to talk to you guys about some of the things we talked about, which is like this rat race and feeling like you're ever chasing this, I don't know, big house, big car, money, designer, all of that kind of stuff. Was on the phone to Patricia on my ride home and one thing led to an one thing led to another <laughs> one thing led to another and i'm here and she's here and she, we look like we are in the same like we are friends we are what? sisters what? what what are the chances that we would both be rocking monochromatic tones in the same familiar they speak to yeah, each other. Yeah, I'm just, I'm, I'm really excited about this. Who's our girl? Hi, Top. Hi, Scott. Because <laughs> you know you say that a lot. What? Like, the, the plates, they speak to each other. I even said it, there was an unboxing I was doing, and I was like, you know who says that a lot? Sharon. So she'll be like, so yeah, I got these two plates, and the colors speak to each other. And I was like, hello, Cap. Hello. <laughs> you say it a lot. Do I? Mm -hmm. Do you know if you ask me, I'd say maybe once or twice a year, I say they speak to each other. No, you say it a lot. Well, I just like when there is a conversation. Yeah, <laughs> and everything feels aligned, like we're on the same damn page. Yes. Anyway, don't mind the cushions in the back. They were washed, um, so I'm living la vida loca. Oh, where was this from? This was like better fabric then. I mean, speaking of cushions and what we were talking about earlier. Mm -hmm. Even though it's not a great this one looks better than this. Yeah, than that. And I don't know where those ones were from. <laughs> I did the same thing. For two days, there was a bra in my couch. <laughs> There's a bra in my couch. <laughs> Welcome to my home and the things that you don't often see. Mm. I really don't like those. Let me point there. That pattern. Yes. I what really Jesus? don't. <laughs> Whoa. Because... Well. I really don't like that. And every time I see it, I kind of want to change it over. Can I show you what Mutua so kindly gave me? And I now want to get a match. No, I already have a match one. No, but. <gasps> oh, 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 I love it. I love it. I love, I love it. Yeah, but now, and I've seen the one that I want, because I have this one mm. for me, and now I want to buy a different one. How cute. Baby merch. Well, that Learn. looks like it could even be your size. You fold it up and I'm like, oh, that could fit. Like a tank top. Oh, right. As a crop top. As a crop top, yeah. But no, no don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I am going to, uh, the TV is on, hence the blue light coming from here. But I am going to say goodnight. Patricia is just coming for a bit to wait out the traffic, the traffic. because the traffic is an absolute mess in this side of town. And I will speak to you tomorrow. Actually, I'll be with Patricia tomorrow again. Yeah. I'll show you my, my guest room. I'm going to show her the guest room. I'll be with Patricia tomorrow again, which means we'll see you guys tomorrow too. Because we're going to go. First, we've got the book club. Flip. I haven't put up the post. Did you remember? Did you remember? <laughs> no. I just assumed you'd done it. No. You would have seen it? Oh, shit. Ah! Okay, we can put it up now. We're going to put up the post now. And now seeing that we've got, we've got, like, it's, the week has just gone. I don't even know how that happened. And I was talking and thinking about it yesterday, actually. I was matching with my mask. What? Yeah. So yeah, on another I level. But um, I, uh, I, I guess now we're going to put up the post. Um, oh, we should take a photo. We should figure out a way to take a photo like this. Okay. I'm going to put up the post. And then I'll show her the guest room. And then we'll see each other again tomorrow because we've got the book club review. 
tomorrow at 3 p.m. But before that, we're going to be at Nairobi Farmer's Market, which I will take you along for. We're going to get some groceries and... Yeah, actually, oh, ooh, this is going to be my... <laughs> Hello. It is now the next day. It's about 2 p.m. And Patricia and I have come to the Nairobi Farmer's Market. And I'm about to turn this camera around and just quickly show you a glance of my mom's stall. She has a little um, space here and sells farm-grown, farm-fresh, uh, food produce i don't know why i feel a little bit nervous so even i was like uh, do you think i should just say it is or not i don't know um i haven't even asked her but i guess if she says no you won't see this part of the video and it'll just be an extra clip i filmed for nothing but i don't think she'll mind but i'm just gonna pan it around and you can see where we are oh but there's one there's one customer so maybe i'll wait for the customer to leave once she's being served and then i'll pan you around Okay, good. Now I can show you. But there's Jeff. There's Patty. That's my cousin. And my, where actually is my mom? I have no idea where she is. My mom and my aunt were here and we're just grabbing some groceries. They also recently got a juicer, which is what you see behind there. And they make everything from like sugarcane juice. Oh, actually, Jeff, you know what I would love? Can, are you, is there someone who can like... I don't want sugarcane juice, I want sugarcane itself. <laughs> can you cut, can you do that and cut into like pieces so that I can, yeah. You know, sometimes, wow, my hair, my hair just keeps like having its life, a life of its own. But sometimes I wonder what it's like for someone who's never had sugarcane in, ever in their life, like what it must be to see, if you've never seen how you kind of suck the juice out of the sugarcane, and have the experience of like you know watching someone like you guys know like it must be one of those things that i feel just make this country a little bit special like do you think in nigeria they have i'm sh god i'm asking a question that would be stupid i think they do probably it's an african culture thing uh, yeah I would, like i wonder if in south africa they also kind of chop actually you tell me if you're not from kenya please tell me where you're from and if you guys are into sugarcane if you will I eat hold it. On to this for you. Yeah, hold on to it. I'll take it after our live. Um, if it's if it's a thing for you guys, where you go out, find a nice juicy sugar cane, chop it up, chop it into little pieces, and enjoy it as a nice sweet snack. Let me know. Okay, look who's here. Ma, do you wanna be in my video real quick? Really now? Yeah, really. Mama, and this is her shop. I was telling them to come and see you, and then if they do, they should just come and and say hi. And yes, appreciate please. the hard yes, work absolutely. that you put into this absolutely. thing. Absolutely. Do come. You will, won't you? I, I think I hope so. Please let me know if you do. Let me show you what the name is. So that's what it's called, the farm outlet. And they've got they actually have like really good UG as well, like the Meru one. Again, I don't know if this is one of those things where I don't know if Meru makes a certain type of UG and then a different part of um, like a different tribe will have a different kind of uji but i really love the meru one um, and then fresh juices and of course like veggies and and uh, fruits from the farm okay i'm starving we're about to go and have something to eat so oh. All right, so I'm going to uh, this for you guys. Thank you. Right. So I will thank see you, you in a bit, but I also just realized I didn't tell you where we are, but it is on Kambu Road, right before Sabis International School, but right after Evergreen's shopping center. All right, I will see you in a bit. We're just going to actually, yeah, have something to eat if we even have time, and then host our Chasing Paper Books first review of the year. The live is done. It was really good, wasn't it? It was really. Hey, this one was a. It was. This was a really. You got deep. You it got was a emotional. Deep conversation. You it got was, emotional. Yeah. I got a little bit too afraid. Uh, like just um. Yeah. Yeah. A little choked up, but it was a good one. It was a good. We've saved it, and I will actually link it down below in case you want to check it out. But we've uh, saved it on IG for our IGTV over on Chasing Paper Books. He's yes, sir. Wouldn't. Alrighty, we're now gonna bid you farewell. It's been a good day. Worked on chasing paper books. Was great. I've got now someone who doesn't speak for whatever reason. She just like nods. I don't even 
even know what I was like, thinking. <laughs> it's because I can't see my mouth. Sometimes that, like, it's so bizarre. But what? my brain just. It's like a muzzle. So because like, you can't see it, it doesn't work. It doesn't exist. Okay. Yeah. But um, I'm just here to say goodbye, and I'll see you soon. And Patricia's gonna go on a lovely evening and escapade. Yeah. We'll see you guys soon. Actually, I might end the vlog here. Do I want to end the vlog here? I don't know. I never know because I don't know if it's enough footage or not. So I never know if I should Maybe be like, all right. Ending the vlog should just be when you're editing and saying, okay, thanks for watching. It could be a thing. It, it could, could be, be a signature thing. It could be. Yeah. And then I put my, I put my, it's less pressure on me. Yeah. Did you want to show your shirt? Again. It's a doozy. It may be a doozy. Uh-huh. It may be a Malik Sidibe. Uh-huh. Ni 50 Uh-huh. Now it is from a guy called Mwadzame okay. on Instagram. He Alrighty. sent me a message. He was like, oh, happy birthday. For your birthday, I'd love for you to purchase my stuff. And I was like, okay. okay.